I'm Constable Allen Rosen, Harris County Precinct 1, and to the left of me is the United States Marshal for the Southern District of Texas, T. Michael O'Connor. And we have all of our law enforcement uh, members of our department, a lot of them that participated in this operation uh, that we had last week. It was called Operation Had a Good Run, and we focused on violent offenders who are in and around Harris County. And uh, I'm very pleased to announce that we had 40 people that we arrested for violent offenders. And I'll go over a couple of the cases. But this just goes to show you that when you combine federal assets, local assets, working collaboratively to make sure that we go after the worst of the worst and uh, of people that are committing violent acts, this is what I tell people all the time. We in law enforcement are really focused on people that scare us people that really do scare us and scare the public. And so uh, many of these people had very serious offenses that they were wanted for. They were wanted not only in our jurisdiction, but from other jurisdictions. And I just can't tell you how important this collaboration was and is. Uh, we have members that are on the Gulf Coast Violent Offenders Task Force, and I was so excited when the marshal reached out and said, let's do an operation initiative together uh, to focus in on these, these violent offenders. Um, so I'm just real, real excited about that. A um, couple of cases I just wanted to kind of go over real quick. Uh, there's three of them out of the 40 that I'm going to mention. We got uh, John Simmons, who actually attempted to kill a female uh, victim in Louisiana. Um, he also, uh, when he... Uh, when he tried to shoot her, allegedly shoot her, um, she had a five-year-old child in the car. And so it was very clear this guy was didn't care about life, didn't care about who he was shooting at. Uh, on August 9th, he was involved in another shooting. Uh, again, these are the people that we're scared of, who we want to get off the street. And so we got uh, intel that he was here locally, and the men and women behind me and the marshal service the Gulf Coast Violent Offenders Task Force picked him up and arrested him and got him into custody. Um, another uh, individual that I will focus on is uh, a Robert Carter. He was uh, arrested for smuggling undocumented immigrants from across the border, uh, trafficking people. These are, again, people that scare us. You don't know what these people are going to do. On September the 10th, 2024, he was arrested for a parole violation for resisting arrest. He had four open felony human trafficking, human trafficking uh, warrants out of Kenney County, Texas. So we were glad to get him off the street. And lastly, one last one that I will do is Hugo Campus Sr., who was still in custody on a $1.5 million bond. Uh, he was arrested for a continuous sexual assault of a child over an eight-year period, and this child finally had the courage to reach out to law enforcement. And uh, we, uh, he at first failed to comply with commands to come out. His mother came out first. Um, and we gave both uh, Spanish orders and English orders, and the victim did make an outcry a couple of years uh, after the uh, sexual assaults were happening, and we're so glad that she did. Um, I know that I can speak for our agency. We're very victim-centric, and helping victims of crime uh, see that the person responsible for their crime be held accountable is what we're all about. Um, he was a, uh, a migrant from El Salvador and was uh, on a temporary protected status here in the United States that's often only granted for two years. Um, so after there's a conviction... Uh, he could be potentially deported back to his host country. Uh, and with that, I'm going to turn it over to the United States Marshal, T. Michael O'Connor, and thank you again so much for your support in uh, helping us make this a successful operation. Yes, sir. Howdy. As you mentioned, T. Michael O'Connor, U.S. Marshal for the Southern District of Texas. Now, I'm sure everybody's familiar with Justice is Coming. Well, I can tell you, justice served. Growing up as a cowboy, I was told 
at one point. Whatever you do, wherever you go, you ride with your cowboys. Here's our cowboys, right here. And I can attest to you that Constable Rosen and myself rode with the cowboys out in the field, not only to just appreciate what they do, but better understanding the importance because we're in the communities. So we talk to the people in the community and they show great appreciation for what we do. Yes, this was only a short period of time, but take a look at the effects. And the effects is only because of the joint operations between state, federal, and local agency. So a view of the major criminals, violent criminals, I warn you, we're coming. This is just getting started. We will continue. We will be relentless. So, yes, start looking over your shoulder, because here we come. Thank you. Thank you, Marshal. And now, I mean, there was 40 people arrested, so for various offenses, um, and I'll open it up for any questions that anybody has. Not all at once, though. <laughs> All right, no questions. Uh, I'm going to have Polizo, Sergeant Polizo, uh, he'll do it in Spanish for you. Um, but this, this is, uh, I want to thank everybody behind me who put their lives on the line every day to ensure these people were brought to justice. So thank you guys. Keep doing the great work that you're doing, keeping our public safe, our community safe. I think he's got a question. How long, how long did we take the, the whole investigation? It was a week-long operation, and we uh, we picked the people that we were going to target. And, um, uh, you know, getting violent offenders off the street is a very important component to feeling safe and secure. And my job, our job, is to ensure the safety and welfare of the community in which we police. And so uh, if you know of somebody that is wanted, uh, or if you know somebody out there, please call the marshal service or our office. We'll be happy to refer it to the marshal's office if it's a, a warrant that warrants their attention. Um, this group, the Gulf Coast Violent Offenders Task Force, only goes after the worst of the worst criminals. They go after the, the capital murder people. You saw Constable Herman's uh, sus alleged suspect in Galveston. That was the United States Marshals Gulf Coast Violent Offenders Task Force that captured him. Uh, so they go after the worst of the worst, and uh, we were just so happy to be a part of, uh, you know, the important work of getting violent offenders off the off the street. So we got 40, and there's more to come. For criminals that have the impression that Houston police, or they're not investigating, they're not doing anything. What do you tell us? Uh, we are. All of us are. Houston Police Department is, uh, Sheriff's Office, everybody is contributing to the overall mission of ensuring the safety and well-being of our community. Don't forget, most of us live in this community. So we want our families to be safe, we want our communities to be safe, and we're going to do everything we can. Uh, plus, it's our mission. <clears throat> it's what we took an oath to do. So, uh, you know, as far as I'm concerned, um, we're going to continue to do it. And those criminals, it's probably best just to go ahead and turn yourself in uh, because we're, we're coming to get you. You emphasize at the beginning of the press conference that this, 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 these are scary people. Yes. How scary? And where are we talking about? I mean, anybody that, that, you know, is out on a capital murder warrant or a murder warrant or attempted murder or continuous sexual assault of a child or a human trafficker, those are people that scare you because they're using a, a weapon in the course and scope of their crime. And for me, that's what scares us. I mean, imagine you're in a parking lot of a, of a place of business and someone sticks a gun to you and says, give me your wallet or give me your watch or anything. That's who scares us. I know that would scare me. Uh, so th at the end of the day, those are the people that we want to focus on. Of course, you have people that break traffic laws. <clears throat> that's important work, too. But it's, it's not nearly as important to us as those violent offenders because I think they contribute to the overall crime numbers that we see locally. Well, I appreciate Constable Rosen for allowing us to come and do 
a joint operation like this. There will be many more going. Plus, he has personnel that deputies that are on our task forces. But to sum it up about the Marshal Service, we pursue the predators of the people. That is a key aspect. Every one of us should feel comfortable to come and go within this community and not have to look nor day or night. The criminals have gotten more brazen for daytime crimes that you would never expect. So we're after the predators. And thanks to Doc, and thanks to, to Constable Rosen, we were able to help and be a part of this because the Marshal Service doesn't take it on them own. We don't intervene with local jurisdiction or state. We come, we offer, and we join. I see the officer nodding. Every time you guys are speaking, uh, the dedication, you can almost feel it in the room. What do you say to that? You go first. I, I mean, I can tell you we're a law enforcement family here. So, I mean, we, we look after each other. We make sure that we're, we go home at night, and we make sure that our officers have the best equipment, the best technology to do their job. Every person you see here and every person in my department, including the Marshal Service, I love. I can't tell you how much I appreciate the job that they do. We have, we have nationally and locally and federally, there's a shortage of officers that want to get into our field. And so I applaud the people that are standing here that are putting their lives on the line every day so that we can all feel and lay our head down at night in peace. And so I'm, I'm, I'm appreciative of them. I'm, I'm really am, and I know the marshal probably feels the same way about his folks. We're very proud of all in law enforcement. Yeah. It is a noteworthy career. In spite of what's usually said in one place or another, it is very gratifying as a human being, but as law enforcement, to champion for those who cannot champion for themselves. Amen. Thank you. Thank Good. you. So, um, por una semana, el, uh, el oficina de uh, Precinct One Constable's Office, la oficina de uh, Constable Allen Rosen, y también el, el departamento de the U.S. Marshals, trabajamos juntos para um, arrestar a la gente que uh, tenía orden de arresto. Eran, eran felonías. Uh, teníamos cuatro, a I mí, mean, perdón, uh, 40 arrestos de felonías que hicimos en esa semana. ¿Y de esos 40 hay unos uh, más peligrosos que otros? O? So, todos estaban, toda la gente que estábamos buscando eran peligrosos, pero como, dice, como dijo el constable, uh, Rosen que hay tres que él, él quería hablar uh, uno era de uh, él él estaba él um, lo necesitamos porque estaba um, how I say it, um, fugitivo. ¿Hmm? fugitivo de, de uh, asesin, asesinato Okay, uh, cuando él, él uh, hizo este delito, estaba un niño con, con la, la mamá también. Um, otro delincuente. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. El otro muchacho que estábamos buscando se llamaba Robert Carter, Cater, y él, uh, él también estaba uh, human trafficking uh, estaba trayendo traficando con humanos mande traficando con humanos traficando sí. uh, sí. en humanos uh, aquí en el condado de Harris y son nosotros uh, uh, le pusimos a arresto a él and then this is the last one, the last one. Okay. Okay. y el tercer en, uh, señor que estábamos buscando se llamaba Hugo Campos y uh, él lo que hizo fue que um, estaba um, say, uh, asalto, sexual. asalto sexual de un de un niño y lo estaba haciendo por muchos años y so nosotros uh, agarramos esa información 
y fuimos ahí, bus lo buscamos y lo pusimos a, a atrás del, de, del cárcel. ¿Y cómo se siente a trabajar con otras ag agencias? Uh, pues yo puedo hablar por, por los muchachos que están aquí. Nosotros uh, estamos muy orgullosos de trabajar con los U.S. Marshals. Uh, ellos están en otro nivel, uh, pero nosotros gustamos trabajar con cualquier uh, agencia que, que está allá que ponen a esta gente atrás del, de, del cárcel. ¿Y cuánto duró esta corporación? Una semana. ¿Y la semana pasada? Uh, fue, sí. ¿fue el last week? Yes. Last week. Uh -huh. sí. sí. ¿Un mensaje para los otros uh, sospechosos? ¿Alguien que... Bueno, como dijo el U.S. Marshal, uh, pon cuidado, porque nosotros va, vamos a venir, te vamos a encontrar, te vamos a arrestar. So. ¿Algo más que mencionar? Thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.